Here in Moen, in Costa Rica's Limon province, two Dutch companies have constructed the most modern container terminal in Latin America. Van Oort and BAM International teamed up to create this state-of-the-art terminal in the Caribbean Sea. The client is APM Terminals. Our mission is to build the most efficient terminal in Latin America. It's a showcase of safety and security. It has a big impact on the country. It opens a lot of doors for economic development and in harmony with the environment. You basically see your name associated with such a big infrastructure project, I think, is what dreams are made of. It's a very prestigious project for the country and it's a complex project. Uh, we have a lot of people working here and I'm proud to be part of that and proud that the team performs like they should do. We are almost finishing the most modern container terminal in the area in Latin America and it's going to be a huge impact in the country, not only direct for the container business but also for everything around. Price levels in Costa Rica are quite high. That is because it is difficult to get goods to Costa Rica and distribute them. And by opening up this port facility, the expectation is that import is going to be also somewhat smoother. It brings economic benefits throughout the country. The consortium is a very experienced international team of contractors. So for us it is not specifically difficult to do the actual work. But the circumstances under which we are working is difficult. It's either too warm sometimes, at the other moments it's too wet and then you can't work. So that's quite difficult technically, but the complexity is due to all the inter interfaces and all works being uh, carried out simultaneously. That makes things complex. Since we were working together as a consortium, we had to do a lot of communication and a cooperation among each other. Because sometimes we were moving a lot of soil around, but at the same time we had to start building the buildings or the infrastructure. So the communication and cooperation among parties, it was essential. Buenos dias todos! Pura vida! We have 24 nationalities that need to work together and a large part of my job is to actually make sure that people keep communicating with each other, um, that we understand each other, that we understand our client um, and make sure that we, uh, we keep aligned. One of the most challenging aspects of the scope took place underwater. 27 divers worked on two main work fronts. The first work front was constructing a revetment underneath the wharf using articulated mattresses. And the second job was installing 2,500 anodes underneath the main wharf. Uh, we dive from minus one down to minus 18. Uh, the project's been very challenging from the start. The material that we're dealing with, that we're excavating, is extremely dense and uh, sticky. A lot of clay-like properties. Uh, there's a lot of rainfall which brings in a lot of siltation. Uh, the siltation makes the water very murky, very difficult visibility conditions. Uh, the divers are off installing mattresses and welding anodes in very low visibility to zero visibility. It was important for Van Oort and BAM to ensure the project benefits the local community. Not only in the current economic situation, but also for the longer term. Limon is like a state totally apart from the rest of the country. We have seven states in this country. Limon is the poorest one. Dominican school is a school located in a very poor area. They have 13 children inside school. That director, she is that director, she is the cleaning lady, she is also a teacher. Es así, por ejemplo, eh, el maestro es director y a la vez tiene que dar los seis niveles. We are improving the schools, we are improving the community with teaching them recycle projects, how to improve in their different needs. It's, it's really nice, it's really nice. But the project itself is also something to be proud of. The construction of the terminal has been completed and operations are successfully being tested. What you see here are the ultimate tools for APMT to move containers out and into the vessels. Basically, the vessel is here only for the purpose of training local people on those cranes. 
within a month those operators are going to move boxes because that will be the moment of the first commercial lift. Having this state-of-the-art thermal that actually will put us on the map and will allow us to reduce the cost of, of trade. Looking at the very conservative forecast, this project can improve the GDP on 0.5% per year and that's just one project for the country, so it's, it's a big thing. As a Costa Rican, I feel very proud because I was part of this project. I had a chance to work with people from other countries and know their cultures and their way of work. And that is something that I'm going to take with me after the project and for my entire life. The terminal is ready and operational. It will boost the Costa Rican economy. Exports will only increase for decades to come.